Hey, what's going on, guys? Pixel Dan here. I am with my good friend Josh. Hey. What's up, Josh? How you doing? Hi, world. Yeah, so this is going to be kind of like a, a toy hunting video, but I'm not actually going anywhere hunting toys. So I guess maybe it's more like a look at my stuff video, except I don't have the stuff yet. Here's what we're, we're doing. Josh has brought me a really cool collection of toys. Like, I've been talking to him about this. We kind of worked out a deal with this. I've been really excited, so I had to do a video to kind of show it off. What did you bring for me today? So I have a near complete collection of packaged food fighters. Just missing a few pieces, uh, but then there's also some special, more rare items that I brought oh. to go with it that not many people know exist. Oh man. So. Oh man, this is so awesome. This was something that took me a long time to get together, so I'm glad it's going into your hands. Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. Yeah, when you told me that you were looking to part with your collection, and I was just like, I was like, there's no way I can let this go anywhere else. <laughs> like, like, like it's, I've got enough toys, it's crazy, but like, I love this line so much, and uh, I've never really had like a, a full, complete collection of these toys, so yeah, yeah man, I'm, I just, I'm really thankful that you came to me with this opportunity. Yeah, this no, is I, awesome. I couldn't think of a more appropriate person to inherit this from me. Oh, this is, um, this is so cool. This, it, this was a passion project of mine, and just hand it off to the next more passionate guy. I love it. So, I love it. Cool. Let's do it. Right, let's start digging let's in. Look. So you guys, if you followed me for any time at all, you've heard me talk about this this toy line. In fact, if you came to any of my panels at the recent conventions I've been a guest at, uh, this has been a big focus of my panels. It's such a weird, obscure toy line that came out in 89 from Mattel. Didn't last past like this first initial offering, basically. There were no, they had some repaints, but there were no new characters and, past yeah. the initial wave. And I right? never heard it, like, I thought I had heard there were two releases. Yeah. One that was one of these variant paintings, and yeah. I have one sample of that. Cool. But then I heard there was a second wave that had the different versions, but I don't know which came out first, and I don't know which the originals are. Yeah, I have no idea so either. So, if you go by the card back, then it's... We'll, sh we'll start with the first one. So okay, let's is, do it. Oh, card and food fighters, here we go. Yeah, so this is the Major Munch, who they call strawberry flavored. Oh yeah, see, now I always assumed this was like the variant, like the uh, the second version of them. Because yeah. the chocolate one is the normal one, right? And the chocolate one is... This uh, is the one that matches up on the card back. Look at these things. So, so you think this one might have come first, or I think I always thought the chocolate one was the normal one. I did too, and I thought I heard that one was only released in Europe and in the Eastern United really? States. Really? Yeah. Oh, there's so many weird things with toys. Yeah. I mean, just so that's that's the only carded variation I ever came across. Look at these carded toys. Yeah. So actually it's, painted the same on the back, right? I yeah, mean, yeah, it's got the same chocolate donut picture so, on the back, and of course the cross sell shows them as the chocolate yeah. donut too. So I'm guessing there. the strawberry one is the. Uh, variation. Yeah, probably. Just of Ooh, look at these. Works. Look at the artwork on these card backs. I just, I love that. You got and that kind of weird kitchen tile design in the background, yeah. and then you got the great drawings of all the characters just going into battle with each other. Well, one thing that not many people know is the there's this little I don't know what you'd call this. There's a little narrative on the back of each, uh -huh. and they're all separate stories. Oh. So every card back has a separate story. Isn't it amazing that like. Okay, the idea for this toy line is so weird anyway, but the fact that they actually fleshed out an apparent storyline for these yeah. characters and gave them all personalities, that's amazing that somebody thought this stuff up. And I, we'll talk later when we get to some of the other pieces, but there clearly was a design for yeah. a much larger amount of support for this line. Like a bigger universe that we never really got to see well, beyond did, these toys. Did you know about the costumes? Yeah, like the Halloween costumes, yeah. right? Like, I did. I've yeah. seen some of those pictures popping up recently yeah. online. Yeah. yeah. And I never saw him as a kid. I, I want to dress as Major Munch. <laughs> Major I don't know about you. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this is... Fat Frenchie right here. Yeah. He was always my favorite. Well, we'll get to him. All right, we'll let's him. do it. Okay, so the there's... Food freshness Should we file. keep them se segregated yeah. by okay. what team they're on? Okay, so okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're so. on the same team. We'll keep them segregated. All right. Um, so here's Sergeant Scoop. Yeah. He, he also has a variation. That's another one I don't... Which have. was... The variation of Sergeant Scoop was like kind of like that orangey top. Sherbert. Or like a Sherbert kind yeah. of flavor. Yeah. Yeah, we eat Sherbert. Sure. I don't eat sherbet. Yeah, I've, I've never really been a big fan of sherbet. Yeah. <laughs> Same with chocolate. Chocolate's more popular. Yeah. Cool. I love it. Nickname, Lickety Split. They got nicknames. Hold on. Major Munch's nickname is Doughboy. <laughs> I think those all came from boot camp, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, it's got, there you go. Yeah, totally got to be a boot camp yeah, thing. That's a boot camp oh, thing. I love the clearance sticker on the back. $1. Oh, some do have their original $1. stickers on there. Uh, you know, this one has the original Toys R Us sticker. Oh, nice. Look at that. 
So that's Lieutenant Leg. He's the chicken leg. His name is Big Cluck. <laughs> Big Cluck. We have Doughboy and Lickety He was He was born in Gobble Gobble, Georgia. <laughs> Weakness, he's easily plucked. Woo, Ooh, boy, the puns. These, these puns the just, puns. yeah. Goal to set everyone chicken free. Oh. These are what just... was his motto? Uh, it's not whether you win or lose, it's how you slurp your cone. Uh, <laughs> we'll leave that one alone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this might be one of those examples of like adult humor. Yeah, like worked in. in yeah, yeah, hidden in. Oh man. Um, we'll save Mean Wiener then. For that. <laughs> uh, oh, here's your favorite. Okay, oh, let's so, do it. Here we go. Here's oh. Fat Frenchy. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy to have this in the package. You have no idea. This is my uh, favorite one. He was the first Food Fighters toy I had when I was a kid. And I can still remember, this is one of those very specific memories I still have of buying toys when you were a kid, because mm -hmm. I actually had some birthday money to spend. Yeah. And we went to the local Hills department store, if you remember Hills. Mm, I, yeah. I'm from up north, we don't have... So you, you may not have yeah, had them up there, the... but a lot of people out there might remember Hills. Yeah. It was it was really popular for having a very awesome toy section. Yeah. And one of the things that they did at Hills is they always had like the uh, the end cap displays where they had like battle set up mm -hmm. with the action figures oh, and yeah. these cool okay. displays. Yeah. So I, I ran into these randomly, it is, yeah. yeah, they don't ever do that anymore, hardly. Um, but I ran into these randomly at a Hills store and decided I wanted to spend my birthday money on it. And I remember my mom even kind of going, are you sure you want that? Are you sure you want to get that? But of course I did. And this is what I bought and I loved him. It's so cool to have this back again. That's so great. Yeah. His nickname is Ketchup Head. That's not terrible. <laughs> not as bad as what we've seen. He was born in Spud Bucket, Idaho, of course. I've been there. His strength is Deadly Spud Breath. His weakness is he likes hamburgers. Oh, because the oh. hamburger is the uh, oh, yeah. is the leader of the good guy team, and he's actually on the bad guy team. Right? That, that's like someone from the south, like in someone. From yeah, the that's North hilarious. That's, that's and it's because he's French fries, and French fries go good yeah. with burgers. Yeah, I always kind of thought of him as like the like one of the assassins in the group, or one of oh, the yeah. violent ones. What if he's like uh, he could totally be like a like a spy? Like maybe he's actually with the refrigerated rejects, or yeah, the, uh, yeah, or what, the combat. What are the good guys? The uh, kitchen commandos. Kitchen commandos. So maybe he's actually one of the kitchen commandos, but he's working for the refrigerated rejects like as a spy. Well, I always thought, in, <laughs> in my own little world, I always thought the refrigerator rejects were like evil because they were infected by mold because I got like ah, nice. But that was because it doesn't make any like none of this. It's not like health food versus junk food. Yeah, there's no, there's no it like uh, yeah, nothing. There's no like uh, what is it? I don't even know. There's theming. no. It's there's not no like theming. there's no theme. There's no specific yeah. food group on the different teams. It's just a mixture of foods. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, why isn't he melting? <laughs> I, I don't <laughs> understand. Like, and this next one, oh, you, man. just physically, it doesn't make sense how he's all staying within his shell. Yeah. But here's uh, Taco Terror. Taco Terror. Uh, oh, completely man. defying gravity with his ground beef. Oh, uh, the. Totally. Well, that's his head, too. Yeah. The beef is his head. That's where his face is. He's got, like, tomatoes and lettuce and cheese kind of spilling out of his shell. Yeah. And Nickname is Meathead. Oh, okay. That's appropriate. And he's born in Tortilla Flats, Tennessee. His weakness is he's a total bean brain. Oh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> there it is. And then his quote is, candy is dandy, but tacos are macho. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna start saying that all the time. I candy is dandy, but tacos are macho. All, yeah. Sign off all your shows. That's, the, that. new yeah, that's the new sign off for my That's the new sign off. Yeah, I like that. I love it. Okay. That's so good. Uh, all right. Oh. So this is actually we'll, we'll go to Mean Wiener. This is the first one that I got. Oh, really, me. Mean Wiener? Yeah. yeah. So he's the leader of the, of the refrigerator yeah. rejects. Um, the hot dog. And when I was a, a, a kid, my mom or grandma my grandma had gotten that for me at a store called dominic's it was a grocery store dominic's did you have okay. dominic's did not have dominic's okay. here nope um and it was just an end cap just hanging and she's like oh i'm gonna teach you how to cook and got me a hot dog action figure and uh, that, i'm gonna teach yeah, you how to cook I, here's a hot I, dog figure i thanks grandma <laughs> he's from pig's knuckle iowa pig's knuckle <laughs> his nickname is mad dog See, they're getting the good nicknames. His like, weakness is he likes his stomach scratched. Because he's a dog? A hot dog? As a superior <laughs> officer, I don't know if that's acceptable. I know, exactly. I'm not sure. Ask not what your hot dog can do for you, but what can you do for your hot dog. That's what is she his said. favorite quote, apparently. That's what she said. Sorry, there's, a, there's some <laughs> opportunities for adult humor. Yeah, here. totally. Okay, so here's Short Stack. Short Stack! Another one that actually would come with a variation. That's right, he had like a pink syrup on top, that was right? A, or like purple, purple syrup? Blue. Yeah. 
Like yeah. a, maybe this would be like a blueberry syrup. Yeah, so this is like the Denny's version because they don't have the flavored syrup. <laughs> there you go. And the other one's this, the IHOP. The IHOP, yeah. the IHOP version, yeah. 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 Uh, Flat Top is his nickname. He was born in Waffleville, Wisconsin. Pancakes oh. from Waffleville, huh? Yeah. I... Melts like butter and battle. He's probably a re oh, he's a reject because he's a pancake. Oh, from there you go. See, he was the outcast. His quote is, "What goes up sometimes sticks to the ceiling." Wah wah. <laughs> uh, oh man. All right, so we got three more in here. Sweet. Um, we we'll do Chip the Ripper. Aha. Another one with the variation. He had a chocolate cookie variation. Yeah, right? like a chocolate macadamia yep. nut or something. Yep. Uh, He's another one of the refrigerated re refrigerator rejects. His nickname is Batter Breath from Chocolate Gulch, Colorado. His weakness is he's a sweet tooth? Has a sweet tooth? Does that mean he just eats himself? Or I would hate to be Sergeant Scoop or Major Munch. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah. So he's, I don't know if he'd be considered a cannibal or not. That's the way this cookie crumbles Ooh. is his quote. <laughs> Which... Oh my god. Uh, Alright, so actually that one... I have two versions of this version. Really? They have slightly different page odds. I'll have to send you pictures later, but they really? are subtle. I don't know. Oh, wow. Same Maybe it was just like a running change in the in the deco or well, something. Well, this one I also have two really? versions of. Two, like, there's one that's this kind of rich color and then a, one a little bit more pale. Really? Yeah. Oh. So, See, now, but I don't know if those are official. Finding variants in the food fighters. I had no idea. Yeah. So that's private pizza. I always love this guy because he has a pepperoni eye patch. I just think that is so hilarious. Very appropriate. I love it, yeah. Um, Pizza the Gut is his nickname. Another bad nickname <laughs> for the Kitchen Commandos. Pizza the Gut. That's terrible. <laughs> These guys have the worst nicknames. I would not want to be a Kitchen Commando a if this is the case. A pizza in the oven is worth two on delivery? <laughs> That's his quote. <laughs> doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. And then lastly, we have Burgundier. General. The Burger Deer General. Yes, so this is the leader of the Kitchen Commandos, the good guy commander there, whose nickname is Hambo <laughs> from, from Grand Round, Oklahoma. He meets any challenge. Pun. Meets, meets any challenge. Oh, man. To Wait, go this... where no burger has gone before. I'm wondering, like, what situations are these quotes applicable in? I know, right? Yeah. Like, does he does so he bad. win a battle and say, yes, a pizza in the oven is worth two on delivery. You of course. That. That's totally what he does. And he's just getting stared at by everybody else. What is that? What do you mean by that? I, I, that makes no sense. Oh, man. These are just right. ridiculous. And then. I love them. Because uh, what's a, what's a uh, military outfit without vehicles? Yes, boxed vehicles. Uh, this is so amazing. I, I love this so much. The fry chopper. Ah, oh, uh, the fry look chopper. At that. A frying pan uh, sitting on two hot dogs, using Kansas soup as bombs. Because <laughs> why not? And spatulas are the propellers. Yeah. And, oh, look at that. And it has another blurb. If you look on the back, it's got another blurb of a mission that they it have. It does. Another conflict. Oh Every my gosh. package has a blurb. That's amazing yeah. that they actually wrote that all up. Yeah. That is so cool. I, I haven't really checked, but I <laughs> the think The Refrigerator I'll... Rejects have built an impenetrable mountain of cookbooks. Because <laughs> why not? <laughs> a fortress stacked so high they have completely blocked off the Kitchen Commando's access to their refrigerator headquarters. Which, Which by the way, happened. was a playset that never actually came out. We'll talk about that more in a bit. That's hilarious. So they built this to get around the, uh, the cookbook uh, mountain. <laughs> cookbook mountain. Look at the artwork. Oh, artwork is so cool on these vintage boxes. And there's an actual image of the toy there in the back. You guys can see. This is so, so cool. So this is... I don't think I've ever seen boxed ones of these in person. This is yeah, cool. this these were these were hard to come by. Um, this one is the uh, barbecue bomber. Ah, oh, the and evil it, assault vehicle. And it's a catapult, because every line needs a catapult. <laughs> you gotta have a catapult, Every right? toy line has at least one catapult. <laughs> it's just like flings veggies? It flings uh, like shish kebab. Well, this is, yeah, and this is, again, where it blurs the lines of what the purpose of food is, because it's flinging what looks like the dism, uh, like, <laughs> yeah. their own allies without I was going to say, are they, <laughs> yeah, they're flinging, like, the, the fallen food yeah, fighters, it, it, basically. It's the corpses of their allies. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, because it's totally, like, little chunks of meat and a pepper. And that's, that's good for recycling. It's, it's like, I, I have to say, like, don't waste any food. Oh, this man. is a great toy line for chefs who want to be efficient. We lost T-Bone Tommy. Load him up on the uh, barbecue bomber. <laughs> we didn't like him anyways. Just chuck him. But the interesting thing about this is oh. with the exception of 
it's chicken. There's not anything on here that's just one single like piece of food, like the green pepper on the back of that. There's yeah. Um, the rest are all like either made or prepared things. The chicken oh things, yeah, it's not like you don't you don't have a, a green pepper character. Right, or, right. Or, You're you know, right. It's a, all like prepared stuff basically. Fish. Stuff you have to cook. Weird. A fish. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, these are so good. They're so rad. So we got all these cool toys, but like we mentioned at the beginning, you've got some other pretty obscure stuff that a lot of people I don't think have even seen. I've never seen these things in Yeah, person. these are very hard to come by. There's a few people who have different samples of them. We'll start with a board puzzle, I think they're called. Oh man, look at that! You guys remember these old board puzzles? Look at that thing. I did not know that... See, I didn't know that the Food Fighters like brand went outside of these toys. I had no idea either. This that is, is crazy. This is stuff you'd find at... I, I would see these at grocery stores for the most part. How tiny um, does this banana have to be for a slice of pizza to be holding it? Right. And <laughs> that is a tiny banana. Yeah. So like like private pizzas down there throwing bananas at Taco Terror. We got the fry chopper and the barbecue bomber on there yeah. represented. So that's kind of cool. And nice thing that's, is it's it's never been taken out, so it's still pristine. Oh, that's so cool. So it's still in like near perfect shape. It's oh, wonderful. And I think. Is that one of their backpacks on there? Yep, totally. He's got yeah. the backpack kind of falling off his back, and his helmet's falling off, and his little gun. <laughs> and one thing you notice, they all have machine guns, they have yeah, totally. handguns, but in every uh, image of them, they're throwing food at each other. Oh, wait, actually, this this one guy is firing here. Oh, yeah. A little bit, but yeah. I bet that's totally that whole, like, violence thing, you know what I mean? Now, like, back then, the 80s, kids can handle Well, that. you know, but, like, He-Man never used his sword in the cartoon, he just carried it. Just like you know the Ninja I mean? Turtles later. Yeah, the Ninja yeah. Turtles didn't use their weapons. Yeah. They yeah. always flung things at yeah. the so, so, yeah. We have these ancient weapons we're trained in, and we're going to use them to climb a wall. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But we're going to hit you with a link of sausages. <laughs> yep, that's exactly. The way it works. Exactly. Um, oh, man. So that's a cool one. All right, that so, is so cool. Uh, here is an actual jigsaw puzzle. Oh, look at Never that. Never been opened. Never opened. Um, so you, you... you know that they're all there. Where did you track all this stuff down? Like uh, flea markets, eBay, yeah, uh, connections. Look at the artwork um, on this. This is so. Cool. This was uh, several years of getting all this. Really? Yeah. So it was fun. It was a fun little hunt to get all this. I, Absolutely, dude. Um, that's that's amazing. I was I was trying to be the the top food fighter collector in the Midwest. And yeah. Then, there's that one Instagram food fighters account. Uh huh. Beat yeah. Me, beat me to the punch. Oh <laughs> yeah. So I, like, I know. Oh. I well, I I love that. As soon as I saw that account pop up, I kind of did that where I was like, oh, I'll, I should have done something like this a long time ago because yeah. I was like, I feel like I was one of the first people to really talk about these toys on the internet, you know. Yeah. And uh, but like, yeah, his collection's amazing on there, and he's always posting all kinds of great stuff on that account. So yeah, shout out for the Food Fighters account on Instagram. Yeah. You should go check that out. It's yeah, good I, stuff. I, I don't remember the exact name of the account, but um, yeah, just look up Food Fighters. You'll find it for yeah. sure, and it's a, it's a good account to follow. So this is my favorite piece. Oh my god, a coloring book! So this is a full coloring book. Uh, still absolutely complete. Has every single page in it. <laughs> Not a single one's colored on, but uh, this has a complete story on the inside of a really? conflict. Really? Yeah. So there is a story on the inside between the food fighters battling one another. Oh, and it's got like words and everything on there. So it's actually yeah. like, oh, Taco Terror throws hot sauce tomatoes. Yeah. <laughs> and somewhere in here you actually see the food fighters partying with other foods that never were oh. produced. Let's see if I can Like find unproduced it. toys. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm gonna... Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that! Salad dressing. Oh, there, there's our unprepared guys. There's a carrot yeah. and an apple. Salad so, dressing. St a stick of broccoli. Yeah. Uh, who is it? Um, Lieutenant Leg is uh, flirting. Flirting with, with the broccoli <laughs> or the um, celery. Yeah. The celery goes good with chicken. Yeah, I totally. Guess. Oh yeah. yeah. Totally makes sense. Oh um, my god. So I, I'm not. I don't think they were ever planning on making those. But no. You can tell there was a whole, whole universe. They go, yeah. There's like a whole world yeah. that these guys live in um, that we just we didn't really know much about. That's so cool. Yeah, so a lot of really fun artwork in there. Um, so I think you'll you'll enjoy looking through that. Man, absolutely. This stuff is so cool. So uh, while we're talking about food fighters, I thought it'd be really cool to kind of bring this in briefly. Uh, I One of the things I love collecting are the old Toy Fair catalogs that the toy companies put out. Yeah. And I happen to have the Mattel 1989 Toy Fair catalog. And the specific reason I wanted this issue was because this was the year that they first were showing off the Food Fighters toy line mm -hmm. uh, at Toy Fair to retailers to pick up and carry in their stores. And uh, I gotta find it in here. But there's a whole 
food fighters section. There we go. Which is just kind of amazing to oh. see. Yeah, I'm just gonna move out of the way. And I'll try to get some better shots for you guys too, so you can kind of see this. Uh, but they got this just amazing layout there, like showing all of the figures that were gonna come out in this particular series, uh, including everything that we've got on the table here. But the best part about this is it shows off the refrigerator playset that was never yeah. released. I bet. And I didn't know about that, I think, until you actually posted your video about it. I had yep. no idea about that. that it's that. it's so cool. It's one of those things that you look at, especially in this catalog, because there's multiple pictures in here, but you see all the cool things they had going on with it. Like, it's got the cans of juice or soda in the side of the refrigerator door that were bombs, Which so is they would roll out the side Kind there. of realistic. Yeah. I've had those fall on my feet yeah. before. Yeah, and, and so I've seen refrigerators. You remember refrigerators used to have those yeah. doors where, like, you'd put soda cans in like yeah. that. And, uh... The, the purple popsicle missiles, missiles has got to be my favorite part of the whole thing. I just, I love that so much. Because why not? Yeah. But, and then you look at, I've never seen this page before. This uh, yeah. shows the actual clothes. Shows it closed up. Closed up yeah. It's got like the little ice tray on the front, but there's like a, a little peak hole basically. So that, yeah. like Burgundy General's like poking his eyes out. I love that. That was that so cool. That would give me nightmares. <laughs> it's so wonderful. Look at the little sticker in there. Like no barbecue bomber. <laughs> I that. That's yeah. really cool. Yeah, so it's just, I don't know, it, I love that, and that's part of the reason I bought this Toy Fair catalog was just that since this playset never came out, this is almost like, this is the closest you can get to owning it, right? It's yeah. just these oh. original pictures with the cross says, on there. new TV advertising. Does it give any other indication oh, of what else once, playing? Yeah, new TV advertising. So they were planning, that means they were planning to put this on a commercial. Okay. Once an average American refrigerator, this playset has now become the center of the food war conflict. The heroic Brigadier General and his men have transformed it into their headquarters, complete with war room, jail, and lookout post. When triggered by enemy fire, the refrigerator doors blow off, and the crisper door slams shut, throwing figures out the back. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, also fires frozen missiles and rolling juice can bombs. There's plenty of room for weapon storage, extra weapons, a separate ladder, and a landing pad, all included. Yeah, for the fry chopper, right? Oh, cool. So it probably folds down somewhere so the fry chopper can land, maybe? I love I love that it's got, like, uh, action features for when they're under attack. Yeah. Because, like, it says the doors blow off and the back door flies open so figures fly out the back. That's amazing. Yeah. That is and so cool. I always wonder with these unproduced items. Oh, yeah, there's totally a little weapons rack yeah. right there. Is there a warehouse somewhere that has... That has, like, like... The entire... Like, how far into production did they get into yeah. it? Yeah, it really makes you wonder. That is so And cool. I don't know how the whole, we're going to design a toy, try to get retailers to pick it up. I don't know Yeah. that timeline of when things get produced and how much they get produced, but you wonder if there's a, a, a warehouse in... Yeah, or if at least the one that they photographed is still sitting somewhere. Like, does somebody just have this chilling in their house somewhere? Well, did it get thrown away? A lot of this stuff did tend to get just tossed out if they weren't using it or doing yeah. anything with it. So well, the guys it, it Kenner, may not exist yeah. anymore. Who the knows? The designers at Kenner, I know, would always get to keep some of that stuff. Mm -hmm. But I don't know how Mattel works. Right. I have no idea. Yeah. No idea. Well, very cool. Well, Excellent. this was awesome. Josh, thank you so much yeah. for the great deal on this. Uh, it's for sure going to have a great home here with me. Yeah. This is one of my all-time favorite toy lines, and I'm so ecstatic to have all of these in my collection. Yeah. So awesome. thank you no, so much, thank buddy. You and much. thanks for doing this video with us, too, yeah, so no that problem. everybody out there can hey. see this. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and thanks for joining us, as always. Feel free to hit that like button if you did enjoy it. Leave me a comment. Right. Look, yeah, it's, it's around here somewhere. Leave me a comment down there, too. Let me know if you had any of these growing up. I'd love to hear from you guys. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss out on one of my videos. Until next time, my friends.